In this video, we're going to learn more about the running costs of a 3D printer. Ian, we're going to be talking about Mark Forge in particular. Yep. You know, so tell us a little more. Okay, so um, one of the things we got asked early when we started Mark 3D to resell these printers was average charge rates and things like that. And it's a little bit different to um, charging out a CNC machine tool. My understanding is that CNC machine tools get an hourly rate and how long it takes the job, you multiply it, put your mark up on and off you go. With printers it's a bit different because we're actually, our strength for you, the CNC user, is cost avoidance. And when I say cost avoidance, that comes in probably five areas which are worth running through. Um, the running costs on a printer, um, it's, well, it's about the same as a 100 watt light bulb. So uh, it's nothing, it's nothing. We don't even bother often with that. Um, it's unmanned, so you don't have somebody watching over it. We're not actually cutting away material and putting scrap on the floor and into the scrap bin, so we're not overpaying for materials, which is really nice. Um, there is, uh, we've got the, to a point where we can free up time on CNC machines. That's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah, that's, that's a huge one, really. Freeing up time on CNC machines for you is just one of the biggest, because you, you're back to full charge rate on that. So um, there's a number of different areas, but um, my personal favorite is there's no tooling. And um, I'm, I dare say one of our best customers, Goering, would hate that statement, but actually they understand that additive and subtractive work together. And the trick is to use the, the additive technology to keep the subtractive technology pumping out parts. I couldn't agree more. I think for me, the biggest saving is CNC machines are going to be put out depending on what machine it is, 40 to 80 pounds now, I would suggest yeah. in that range. Um, so making soft jaws, for instance, you could be 60, 80 pounds to make some soft jaws by the time you bought the materials. You don't need to make too many before you're eroding into your profit, do you? Yeah, the, um, I would much rather use a, use a printer with a very cheap hourly rate to make those and have my um, production machine banging out production parts at the full rate. You don't want to stop it. I often see arguments between production engineers and production managers. Mm -hmm. The production engineer will say, I need your CNC machine to make the fixtures for the next job. And the production manager says, you can't, I'm running a job. And one of them ends up having to give. So production engineers are starting to buy printers. And the Mark II behind you, um, it's quite an easy calculation. If we, if we take the cost of the printer, the, the support you'll need on a three year period, um, and some materials to get you going, installed up and running, you're talking about 700 pounds a month. Now we've got companies that have justified that on uptime on CNCs very, very easily. But we've also got companies that have said, I won't have to subcontract a fixture. Mm -hmm. My CNC machines are too busy, I'll get the tool maker down the road. And he's charging a thousand pounds and the, t the time waiting and the time waiting and stuff it's a it's a wonderful place to be it really is okay so just to conclude what we're looking at is total cost of ownership of yeah. one of these so a machine tool might cost you thousand two thousand three thousand we've got you know depending on the price of the machine but then like you say coolant uh, labor uh, more power cutting tools yeah. whereas if you look at the total cost of ownership of these it's it, it's relatively insignificant it is insignificant it's great and i don't want to be blase about it but to buy a printer and have it making money for you uh, isn't necessarily a huge expense. You could probably buy six or eight printers for a, a decent CNC, which is just a great place to be. The, um, my, my overall view on it is it's cheap to run. There's no specialist infrastructure needed. You can pick it up, move it round. Uh, uh, there's no manning on it. There's, there's just, the benefits are just endless, really. So there we have it, the benefits are just endless. Speak with the team at Mark3D and they'll tell you some more.